Good morning, Rita. So I'm at 915 48th Avenue Northwest. You are on a slight hill. Rochester can be very hilly depending on the area, which is one thing we love about the city, but can be a little tricky if you are on a slope <laughs> come winter time with all the ice. The driveway is not too um, high of a slope, but you do have the sidewalks which you will be responsible for clearing um, and they do slope downward just so that you're aware so let's go ahead inside this home is a five bedroom three bath home built in 1999 you want to make note there is kind of just looks like it's coming loose <laughs> um, so something to consider this is a very large step upwards too um, and so we are at the front door very 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 large front door and let's head in so as we walk in we have a little bit of a entrance with a double coat closet you do walk into the living area this is also downstairs um, we will find two bedrooms on this main living area and two baths so these are hardwood floors. They're in really, really good shape. I love the vaulted ceilings. So we walk in to the living room, really nice size living room. Definitely have some natural light here. We keep walking. This is most likely going to be your designated dining area. And again, the hardwood floors extend through the living room and the dining room area. Here is your updated kitchen with gray countertops, laminate countertop, excuse me, <laughs> with gray cabinets, laner, or laminate countertops. Um, very interesting selection of putting the laundry up in the kitchen. Um, I have not seen that on a regular basis, so definitely um, something to note. I'm sure you saw it in the pictures. Stainless steel appliances, which have been upgraded. Dishwasher. Garbage disposal. Let's head to the two bedrooms that are located on this level. Again, hardwood floors in the hallway. They wrap to the left, which is tile. Um, and this looks like it's been up renovated, I should say. Some pieces, same counter, cabinets, surround tub, but beautiful tile work on the sides of the bathroom. Okay. Really, really, really large doorways. I'd say these probably are 10 feet door, doorways and ceilings. And we are gonna, we're gonna walk to the first main bedroom. Now this is LVP, so luxury vinyl plank in this bedroom. Large, large ceilings, they make a bedroom feel so much bigger. And this is a nice size bedroom that overlooks your backyard. Newer looking windows, fenced in yard. Double closet. You absolutely could fit a king bed in here if you wanted to. And then we wrap right into the master, which also has the LVP flooring. This will face out to the street level. Again, super, super vaulted ceilings. This even has a adhered structure for storage in this room. And then you do have your own master ensuite bathroom that offers you a different LVP flooring. Beautiful new countertop. And then of course, walk-in shower that's handicapped accessible if you ever did need that. Really nice size, very large with a seating area as well. So I really like this. This little stoop helps prevent any water from getting in and spilling over to your LVP flooring. So I really like that. 
Another feature that I think is huge on this house is the walk-in closet in the master suite. Okay, so let's head back downstairs. I should say, let's head downstairs for the first time. We have a little cat friend that's helping us tour the property. So we're gonna go down the stairs. The carpet is worn, but it's in pretty good shape. And we are gonna first go to the left. So when we get to the stairs and go to the left, you do have another area to utilize for a family room, living space. This actually wraps you around to more storage. You can't have too much storage when you own a home. And this will be where you find your electrical. The electrical looks fantastic. Everything is labeled for you. Looks really good. Okay. So we wrap in now to one of the three bedrooms down here. Does have an egress window, another light. These ceilings are a little bit shorter. I would say these probably are running around, depending on where you are, nine feet, eight feet at some point. That is one of the smallest bedrooms here. This is going to be another main bathroom for all the bedrooms down here. And if you were entertaining down here, this is what they would use. This is a three-fourths bath because it just gives you a walk-in shower. But clean, in good shape. And if we walk further to this hallway, we have bedroom number two down here. Very, very large. Carpets are needing to be replaced in this room. I'm gonna call this a mix match house because there's so many different types of flooring and carpet um, that it's interesting. This one is the same carpet as in the living room family area, excuse me, family area. Windows look to be original down here. Another nice size bedroom. You could absolutely fit a king bed in here if you wanted to. And then let's check out the utility room. So you do have a water softener, some more storage. No water damage that I can see at this point with my own eyes. Water heater is of good size. It looks like it was installed in say it said 2011 yep right here 2011 and I believe your furnace is 2019 I can confirm that if you guys are interested to find out more about this home everything is ran to the drain it all looks really good okay let's go take a look at the outside 